first of all, it's a first-person shooter, the survival uh, one. Uh, that everything is happening in the Chernobyl exclusion zone, uh, 20 years uh, after the uh, catastrophe, and the uh, there was some you know odd accidents happen again. So there was a huge explosion, the second one after uh, after which the zone appeared. So the zone is like a uh, interesting uh, and odd spot in the uh, on the Earth. So it's. Uh, a lot of uh, animals in there, uh, some animal activity, uh, some uh, uh, undescribable, unexplainable, you know, uh, uh, energy uh, blowouts or emissions, and uh, uh, and uh, the zone uh, always give birth to some uh, interesting objects like cult artifacts, and uh, they cost money, so that's why uh, a lot of uh, people like. Uh, uh, scientists and just uh, uh, just ordinary people, ex-militaries and uh, also bandits, just rushed uh, to the zone to to get these you know uh, artifacts to, to earn money. So that's the 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 background of all the game, and everything is happening on uh, like uh, old uh, lost uh, Soviet cities, villages, and Soviet territory. So that's why everything like uh, have its Soviet you know architecture and. Uh, uh, old uh, old stuff. So it's everything is rusted, destroyed. Uh, so it's like post-apocalyptic, you know, um, setting of the game. The game uh, gives the player complete freedom inside the game. So it's we called it like uh, RPG elements, uh, but uh, we consider that RPG is not the uh, just the parameters that you can improve or just upgrade some things. It's like uh, your own, you know, uh, parameters for the player. So if you're not uh, familiar with the zone, with its rules, uh, with its uh, you know, uh, actions that's happening there, so you're not the, you know, the, the good player. And by playing the game, you uh, became familiar with its uh, uh, you know, rules, everything is happening there. So you just upgrade yourself. And you became a sharpshooter, a good shooter, and you became a good stalker, you know, where the artifacts were, uh, could be found, uh, how to sell them good, and uh, where to get uh, 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 weapons and uh, cartridges to the weapons. So we just like, it's like RPG inside the game for, for, for the player. You can be whatever you like, uh, whom you, who you like. So you can be a bad guy, you can be a slayer who kills everyone uh, that you, you meet, everyone, and kill them. Or you can be like a good guy, uh, trying to help others, uh, trying, for example, uh, to give mad kids or just give money or something to, to, to guys who need them. And uh, so you decide what to do and who to fight. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the main thing in Stalker. So there is no like rules. You can do uh, whatever you like. There are two like uh, uh, main camps, like Stalkers, who are uh, trespassers to the zone. And the militaries who guard the zone and uh, kill everybody who is like an uh, interceptor, who, who, who get inside the zone. So, uh, in Clear Sky you can be, you can join any faction. There are six factions, uh, maybe, maybe more. In the game you can join I even bandits and uh, so help them in the, in the war of faction that we have in the Clear Sky. But uh, the only faction you, can, you cannot join is militaries because they are uh, always aggressive to stalkers, so that's, that's their job. We had uh, a huge amount of feedback from players and from, from the press, and uh, we did uh, a lot of changes according to that feedback. So I think that the players who did play the first game um, will like the changes uh, we've met to Clear Sky. We've, we developed the game in, in such a way that uh, the players who did not play the first game will not feel that they missed something. So it, it's a standalone game with its standalone, you know, storyline and uh, actions inside the game. Stalker will be available uh, PC only on August 29th.